Now we need a special step now, which is the PDF print. So for the PDF print, I'm using a software called the PDF Creator uh, from the company called uh, PDF Forge. Um, why I'm using the PDF printer from uh, the PDF Creator? Actually, this software is giving me uh, more functions than what you expect at a PDF printer. So simply here, I have a profile. So this uh, software can give me the option to print automatically without having the interactive pop-ups save as thing. So if you here define it interactive, then you will see save as pop-up. But if you make it automatic, then it will print without notification, which is something we need to keep the report printing automatically without any, uh, we can say, problems or issues during the runtime. So you don't have to make save as. So, and the second point is, the PDF uh, creator is giving you the option to create a pro profile for the target directory and the file name itself. So here I define the, the file name as plant tree bolt. And then I take some attributes from this one here. So you can have several attributes. So what I mentioned here is I need the day, month, year, hour, minutes, seconds. So as you see here is the preview downside. So now the, the report, if we generate the report at this timestamp, you'll have plant report uh, 8 May and, and this is the timestamp. So what I want to say here, if, if I remove this one, so now you have the report by day. So this actually uh, depends on how you plan to make the reports. For example, if you have a report every one hour, then you need to create a report and giving the hour timestamp because all the files will be having the same name if you keep uh, the format in this day, month, year. So in, in, in this case, I need to use the, I just make separator for, I need to use the hour, and then the minutes, and then, and by the way, the minutes is sufficient, and then TD for AM, PM. So just like this report for 10 PM or 10 AM or whatever. And the second point is the target directory, the, the folder itself. We can create folders through, through this uh, PDF creator. What I mean by that, if for better archiving, for example, if you, you need um, one report per hour, that means you have 24 reports per day. So you can create a directory through the PDF creator per day. So, so as you see here, reports 8 May 2021, so I will create here the directory per day. So every day, the PDF creator will create a folder for this day. And inside this one, we'll have a file name, which is again having a timestamp with the, the, the clock itself. So what if I'm generating a report per day? So one report per day. So this a file name and target directory will, will not be suitable for this uh, kind of uh, scenario then. I will remove the, the timestamp because it's just only one. And here, rather than we have a folder per day, then I will delay, I, I will delete this part here. Then I will have a folder per month. So one folder for one month, and inside this folder we'll have 20, sorry, uh, 30 or 31 files, which is the daily reports. So in this case, once I open um, the reports uh, folders, I will find properly archived reports. So for, for the testing, I need to make it, uh, let me think, we'll try both ways. So I take hours, minute, and seconds. So 
and here we'll use the day as well so and very nice thing is if you you know this uh, mm it means month if you just add one more m then you will have the the month uh, letters like may june july so i will back to the numeric uh, representation so i will press ok and save this one So if you just simply want to print this one, uh, we didn't use the print from Cytec, I'll just make a normal print from here. So we'll see what would happen. As you see here, based on the profile we select, PDF creator again. So the PDF creator again, as you see, we choose to have a directory which is day month year so here we have the the day month year and then we'll open inside and see the same format for the file name so so basically this pdf creator will save um too much too much time from your workflow we can do this uh, through Cycode inside Cytec and start creating directories. And but rather than wasting time in creating very long code inside the Cytec, we can use the PDF uh, creator and just make the workflow much more simple. So normally, I'm saying the automation is a challenge of making things much more simple, much more easy to use, it's not like much more complicated. So we'll back again. Now, we will close this one and back to our site. Date. So what I will do now, back to the site, date, I will delete everything here so now the the reports are empty now we want to print the pdf through a command from cyclic how we do this one simply i will just copy and paste rather than wasting time so it is simply exec function Exec function is, is simply executing the, the, the command or the uh, run commands inside Cytec. So wherever inside, if you see here, this is a word bad. And the slash p, it means print. And then the file location, which is the report file location, the RTF file location. So this symbol command will do the print inside the site act. And I, I will show you this command inside the window, so nothing that's some sort of magic. It is some simple Windows command. So I will get back again here and generate the report. So I will generate the report. So you see the report here, I just copy the command. I will paste it here, as you see downside. See what would happen. Sorry. I just done it by mistake. So I will issue this command. See what would happen. So it is simply a print command in the Windows. So exec is just executing the commands inside the site. Act. So here, as you see, we have the print. So nothing unique, and I will close Cytec back again. We'll go to the print. So this is the execute, which is a print function. Step number three, delete the report. Actually, rather than making inconsistency while generating several reports, I am going to delete the RTF file. So how we can delete the RTF file to avoid the inconsistency, as I said, 
So it's simply file, I'm just getting from here to z file delete. So this is file delete, and then we need the location of this report. So here is the location of the report. And here is the report name, which is blandreport.rtf. Yes, blandreport.rtf. OK, save, run, so we can test. So I will get this windows here, so I'll just click delete. So as you see, the file is deleted. So here one thing, if we'll generate one more report. And if we try the PDF print here, and this is one of the frequently asked question, there is nothing is printing. So why we, we explain the exec function but actually it is not working. Why? Because Schneider, they designed from, from version 2018 um, to make the exec function need two steps. So the first step is to go to the, sorry, the setup editor, and then inside the security, you will have the block X. You have to make it zero. So by default, it is one. So Zero, it means running exec functions will be allowed. So, so now it is zero. Close and save. And one more thing, you have to go to the security. And inside the role, you have to allow the exec functions to execute. So you have here true and then run. So back again, say if I make PDF print, it is not working, but this time because we need to log in first. So it is mandatory to log in to execute anything related to exec function. PDF print now, as you see, the PDF started and and here the report uh, by the timestamp here. So if I delete this complete, sorry, if I delete this complete folder thing here, so I will generate the report, sorry, generate the report, okay, and the PDF print. So this is the PDF print. So everything is fine and delete the report.